The Prime Minister seems to have survived another day of bad polling and caucus unrest in Ottawa. The Liberal Party is strong and united. But in Alberta, a strong desire to take it to the voting booths. 69% want a federal election now, according to a new survey from Angus Reid. Trudeau is long past his best before date, and it's t high time for him to go. They should be given that extra time of like a normal election cycle so that they can put forward like a unified front of what they actually want. Across the country, about 52% want to vote now. That desire is highest in Saskatchewan at 70%, with Alberta a close second. Conservatives are dominating the polls, so it's unsurprising the poll found 91% of their supporters don't want to wait until next October to vote. Folks are struggling with inflation. Um, things are, are, are difficult on a number of fronts, depending which part of the country you live in. And the idea of, uh, of a change election seems to be really resonating. The survey was released on the same day the Prime Minister met with frustrated MPs in Ottawa. Some want him to resign, but he hasn't. Look, there's a, a, what would you call, some palace drama going on right now. Alberta's only Liberal cabinet minister says he still supports Justin Trudeau and claims he's hearing the same on the doorsteps of his Edmonton centre riding. They want us to focus on them, to focus on delivering results and to have a damn fine campaign. Right now, the federal election is lining up to be October 20th, 2025, the same day as municipal elections in Edmonton and Calgary. That would be bad, believes this city councillor. On the federal side, you would then have to get separate polling stations. I could see a lot of confusion. So the, one of the main reasons I would like to see an election at some point before the next municipal election is to try to reduce that potential for confusion. On the Liberal side, just 14% want an early vote. Polling site 338 Canada predicts the Liberals will lose about 100 seats and the Conservatives have a 99% chance of winning. From Edmonton, Sean Amato, City News.